So do you think you can tell the difference between AI and a real artist? I think so. No. It's so hard to tell, man. In 2022, ChatGPT changed the world as we know it. The introduction of large language models revolutionized the way we interact with technology and the way it interacts with us. But this tech is much more than just a clever chatbot that can give you a recipe or tell you a funny story. The underlying technology has opened doors for all types of software, causing many people to question the future of work, life, and creativity. With a simple prompt, you can now create an image or even compose a whole song in seconds. But do I personally think AI can replace human creativity? No, I don't. At least not in the near future. Of all the fusion models like these are cool to play with, I haven't come across an AI-generated song that truly captivated me with its creativity beyond the fact that it was made by a machine. Still, just because AI can't replace human creativity doesn't mean it can't enhance it. There are many ways to use AI in your music, and one of the ways I'm currently using it is with Kiss AI's voice cloning feature. In our last video, I demonstrated how to clone a voice, but in this one, I'll show you how to actually use that voice. Then we're gonna go out into the public and see if people can tell the difference between the cloned and the real voice. So with her permission, I cloned the voice of this female artist who I work with. Now I'm gonna take these vocals that I recorded Gotta tell you the truth, can't lie with you. and I'm gonna drop them into the Kista AI desktop app. It says the pitch level is great, so I'm gonna leave it right at that. I'll add some pitch correction. And I know the key in my song is A major, so I'm gonna change the key. Now I'm gonna hit convert. Conversion is ready, let's hear what it sounds like. I know the way to heaven, babe. The baby boy is so okay. Sounds great, so now I'm gonna hit download. And now I can simply drag this back into my door. Make it pink for the female. Ableton tip, you're gonna wanna unwarp this. Okay, now I'm gonna drop in the Kiss AI vocal chain. So this is what it sounds like with just a Kiss preset. I know the way to heaven, babe. I'm also gonna send it to these three return tracks. The first one is a super plate by Sound Toys. Just a nice little plate reverb. I'm making it out the lows and most of the mids, as well as some of the high end. I also have this vintage plugin, which is giving me some saturation, movement, and chorus. It's also removing any frequency above 10K Hertz. And then I'm finishing that off with just a low cut and pulling out some of that 3K as well. Not the way to heaven, babe. The baby boy has so okay. The second send I'm sending it to is just a Lexicon Verb by UAD. I have it on a small hall setting. I also have this plugin from Waves called Center, which I'm just boosting the sides on for the sides. And then I'm ending it off with this weird EQ shape, but it works. Not the way to heaven, babe. The baby boy has so okay. And the final send I'm sending it to is this aggressive parallel compression. So on this final send, I have this distressor, which is hitting about 9 dB of gain reduction. 3 to 1 ratio. I'm also using this Mag EQ, which is just boosting my 40k Hertz just to give it some air. Followed up with some EQ and these two DS's. Not the way to heaven, babe. The baby boy has so okay. So this is what it sounds like with just a kids preset. I know the way to heaven, babe. Now with the plate. The baby boy has so okay. I'll add in the hall reverb. If you stay by my side tonight. And finally with the distressor. You will never see no say. So I repeated this process with a couple more songs and now we're ready to hit the streets. So I'm gonna play you three songs. Two of them are gonna be AI and one of them are gonna be real. Okay. Okay. Feel like a brand new person. But I don't care I'm in love. Next one. I can't be with that, be with that, be with that, yeah. And the last one. Another way to have from bed. Oh, this is tough. If I had to guess. I think I'd have to go with the third one. The third one is actually the second one. Oh, yeah, man. It was, I, was, I was between those really? two. Really? I was between yeah, those you two. You were close I was trying to like listen to the voice. So this time I decided to switch up the question a bit. I didn't ask them to guess which one was the real artist's voice. Instead, I played three songs and only one was AI. Now their job was to find the AI clone. Here's the first one. Next one. Last one. So which one do you think was AI? Was the whole song made by AI? Basically what it is, it's like two of them are the real artist's voice and then one of them is just the artist's voice but made with AI. So I sang the song yeah. and then transferred my voice into their voice. Uh, I'm stuck between the first two. I see the first one. Nah, bro. No. It was the third one. It's the third one. Yeah, man. The last one was AI. So I asked a couple more people. You think you could tell which one was a real person and which one was made by AI? No. No? No. You want to try? No. And out of the ones who actually wanted to try, only two of them got it right. 
It's so hard to tell, man. Yeah, man. I go for the third one. Ah, you got it right. That's the good one. Right? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the MIT, eh? Oh, yeah. It's genius. Uh, I go number two. Number two? You got it right, bro. You got it right. Well done, well awesome, done. Awesome. Thank you for your time, man. Yeah, thanks, man. So as you can see, most people couldn't even tell the difference between a real artist and the AI clone. Even the ones who guessed correctly admitted it was hard to tell the difference. This just shows you how advanced AI technology has become in replicating human voices. Which brings us to a crucial point, ethics. AI voice coding has already made headlines for all the wrong reasons, and these incidents highlight the potential misuse of this technology if it's left unchecked. But ethics are at the core of what everything Kiss AI does and believes in. Using AI to enhance creativity while respecting artists' rights is the mission. This technology has the potential to open incredible new possibilities in music, but only if we use it responsibly. Kiss AI are pioneers in creating an ethical future for AI, a future that empowers artists, not steals from them. But what do you think? Did the AI test fool you? And how do you feel about the future of AI in music? Let me know in the comments if you want to see more experiments like this, and don't forget to subscribe.